Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to... Oh, computer's cr going crazy. We're going to be um, pretty much taking a multi-layered document and creating a background layer out of it, otherwise known as flattening images. So what it does is it takes whatever you have visible in your layers panel and converts that into a background layer with no transparency in it. So what we're going to do is just set, we're going to have what we want um, to be converted into the background layer. Let me cancel out of that crap um, and put it in and we're going to flatten it and put it into the background layer. I think I just said that twice, but now you really, really get the hint. So let's um, just right click in our layers panel and we're going to come down here to flatten image. And what it's going to ask you is discard hidden layers. If you don't want to, you hit cancel and then nothing happens. But if you hit OK, everything that you don't have visible is going to go away. And everything's just going to get changed into a background layer. So I'm going to hit OK. And now, as you can see, everything is into a background layer. I can't open this layer up or anything like that. It's just one background right now and I have no control over this. The only thing I think I can do is erase. Well, it's e erasing everything into a red for some reason, who knows why. Now, let me hit Control Z to go back a few times. Okay, here we go. And um, what I wanted to show you was just another way how to do this. So if we come up into our layers panel and go to our panel options, we can also flatten the image from there. Hit OK, and, and now we've got that all flattened. Now, as if I add in some of these pictures here, and then go to flatten, those pictures are going to also be in uh, into my uh, background here. They're also going to going to be what's there. So. I'm gonna go back another time and uh, hide these pictures. And if you noticed last time when I deleted out the background layer and flattened my image, um, remember that there is no transparency. So it adds a white background for me and that's what the uh, Photoshop defaults to. So that's another quick and easy tutorial. Um, I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer to teach that, but I don't know why I was thinking that because it's so easy. So thanks for watching this tutorial and subscribe for more tutorials. I promise that they're a little bit longer than this one. Thanks for watching and everybody and have a good day.